Recently, ModHub received a new update. Great, right? Well, recently you may also have seen an uptick in cheated servers, or noticed some funky behavior with your game. This latest update to ModHub was bundled with several features past simply being a hub for mods. Along with genuinely reasonable changes, like always sorting your mods alphabetically, was a set of options and forced optimizations, which are derived from the mod mission content randomizer. This has led to some unexpected behaviors and mod conflicts in some cases. And those options? They're for changing things like spawn cap and player count, and apparently anybody can just change these as host, in a verified mod, that 400,000 people are subscribed to. Yeah. A bug, reportedly. Goldblade says it was meant to toggle based on approval stage, but one that's not yet been fixed as of the posting of this video. And while this option isn't available to plain old mod.io users, people who use mod integration, an alternative mod loader by AssemblyStorm, could at least just downgrade. But the older versions of ModHub were actually deleted from mod.io. I wonder why. In fairness, the devs behind ModHub and this most recent change seem to be very actively patching out bugs with their newly added features, but it's not very clear exactly how many gameplay affecting glitches still lie, unreported and unfixed. On top of that, Goldblade has just shown complete disregard for specific conflicts. So what are your options? Well, you'll probably still run into a mildly elevated number of unmarked cheated lobbies until the bug is fixed, and there's really no way around that. However, if you don't want your game being forcibly modified if you want to play with mods, there is another option. The goats of modding, AssemblyStorm in Miraculon, released a ModHub alternative, just today. Unified UI is a lightweight alternative that will not add in unwanted feature creep. However, until modders add it as a dependency, this option isn't really available to people using the normal default mod.io integration, as ModHub will still download given the way vanilla mod integration works. So I'll put you on a better way to mod DRG. Mod integration. I have a whole video about it, but that video doesn't really sell the benefits. Mod integration, or Mint for short, doesn't forcibly update all your mods unless you tell it to, and it lets you revert to older versions of mods, which is what most Mint users were doing with ModHub up until now. It also lets you go above the 50 mod cap, is backwards compatible with a lot of deprecated mods due to how it handles modding, doesn't forcibly install required by all mods if you join another modded server, doesn't sometimes uninstall all your mods for no reason, is far more stable, grants some users better frame rates, works with the Windows 10 version of the game, works on Linux, and probably more that I'm missing. It also lets you install Unified UI in lieu of ModHub for mods that use ModHub as a dependency. If you'd like to switch to the better way to mod, and the better ModHub, I have a video about Mint, and Unified UI will be linked in the description. Simply install the mod through Mint, as you would with any other, and start playing. You might receive some dependency warnings, which can safely be ignored if you don't encounter any problems in-game. Happy mining out there! Rock and stone! Also, as a side note, if you're wondering what's going on in the background footage, it's all footage provided by Zipnotoad, using only approved mods. Yeah, the ones that aren't meant to affect player progression? Most of them are made by Goldblade, the person behind ModHub, who has routinely flaunted mod categories, at least partially enabled by his position as admin and former owner of the official modding server, and mod approver, among other things. 